Okay, hello and uh, welcome. Good evening to all of you viewers out there. I certainly appreciate having you watch me and having you watch uh, Channel 36. Tonight we have the Women's Network and uh, I have some wonderful, great, exciting news for you because we have uh, a very exciting evening. In fact, it's a little early but uh, I thought we get with it, get on with it, and talk a little bit about the women in film. And in this case tonight, I want to present to you some of the women that are up this year for an Academy Award. So I have quite a few uh, nice clips with me. In fact, it's probably gonna, going to go so fast that we will not even be able to discuss them all. So uh, at the end of the show, should you say, oh, ah, she left this out, don't fret, I'll be back uh, right after the awards and then we will really show you the winners. Okay, and also, I uh, had a, uh, uh, ac actually earlier I had a guest come in but uh, she had to cancel and sometimes it works out real well because I have a wonderful, wonderful standby right here from the West Hollywood community and that is none other but Teddy Thurman. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Alcus. Good to be here. Yeah. Whether even I'm, if I'm a stand-in, it's a great <laughs> way to come in. Well, you're a wonderful stand-in. So, yeah. uh, in fact, I also know that you know a lot about the movies and you know a lot about uh, women in movies. So I think I uh, between the two of us, we probably get it together we'll tonight. We'll get it going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll get it going. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, um, I uh, uh, am a little bit sad to start on this note, but uh, let's oh. uh, talk about a little bit oh. about Helen Hayes. Yeah, Helen the Hayes. The uh, first lady of uh, the theater unfortunately passed away just a few weeks before the uh, great event, and uh, she herself has been an Oscar nominee, uh, I'm sorry, an Oscar winner yeah, and two Tonys. times. Three, t three Tonys. Three Tonys. Emmys, I didn't count, but... Uh, One Emmy, and... Uh, she is the great lady of the American theater. Right. Jean Cronin said that uh, the temple has lost one of its pillars. That is a w very wonderful way yeah. of... Uh, great expressing. Great expressing it, yes. Yeah. She has really been around for, what, she was 92 years old, and she sort of acted until her very last minute yeah, almost. Yeah, she never and stopped, and she started when she was a child, so... Yeah, and she almost was... Almost a century, I'd say. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And she was married to uh, some wonderful people, Critic. including... Yeah. Uh, including Critic. Lawrence Olivier. No, no, that was no? not her husband. Oh, no. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was a critic for the uh, Herald uh, Tribune. Uh, Mac MacArthur? Mac yeah, uh, Charles MacArthur. Charles MacArthur. Well, let me right. see. I have a little bit here. If you can enlighten the audience with a little bit uh, about... Well, it says here she started her Broadway debut at the age of nine. Wow. So she uh, passed away at 92, so she certainly had a... Uh, that's 83 a, years a of Broadway. Life. That's a lot of a Broadway. Full life. And uh, she started, from what I read, in the movies, and then she switched over to the theater. I heard on one uh, clip on the news that she had gone to the theater in Washington, D.C., where she was, is from at the age of five with her mother, and she knew right then that that's where she wanted to be, that it was a magical world that she had to be in at the age of five. From then on, she knew where she was going, Gosh. and she made it, too. Yeah, she certainly did. Yeah. Well, she was a very petite woman, but she had uh, certainly a powerful personality. Yeah. So uh, we certainly will miss her a great deal. And uh, not to uh, go into it uh, for a long time, but uh, we had a few greats, uh, unfortunately, passing away. Oh, yeah. This, you know what? This is the third one. They say they come in three. That's fine. The first one was Lillian Gish. She was 99. My God. Yeah. Well, she was one of the, uh, she wasn't the first she one movie. of the silent movies, right? The, the yeah. very first movie right. was her. And then D. W. Griffith and Lillian Gish made the first movie. My God, of all time. that is really uh, that is really so. Uh, do we have anybody left from and that then, time? Actually, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> that was probably <laughs> the last mummies. big one, <laughs> right? Mummies. Yeah. And then, then right after that, or the same day, probably I think, uh, Ruby Keeler, who was a great star with Al Jolson. And, uh, you know, the 42nd Street that's on stage now that uh, was on Broadway a few years ago and has come out here, uh, K 
came from a movie that Ruby Keeler did, 42nd Street. She was the star of that many moons ago. My God. And they came up with this Broadway musical taken from the movie, which is reverse of what usually happens. God, you isn't know. that incredible? Yeah, in fact, 42nd Street was my first Broadway musical. Oh, yeah? I saw it in New York, yeah. my first Broadway musical. Right. So I think that it's, it'll always stay in my mind. So that was wonderful. Well, that's great. And then, naturally, we had Audrey Hepburn, who uh, uh, received an Oscar in Roman Holidays. Yeah. And that, was, uh, that was certainly a very, very sad passing. But uh, I have a little list here. Maybe you want to give us some uh, ideas of the actresses that are nominated uh, this year. I know you weren't prepared. I kind of, uh, she does, uh, she also, Teddy also helps me with my camera a lot of times. So I just sort of took her from my crew and, <laughs> <laughs> and oh, uh, let's see. Why don't we, why don't you start off and then I'll check the clip that we will start off with. Um, Let's see, I think a beautiful one is Catherine Deneuve. She's always beautiful anyhow, and the mm -hmm. movie looks very interesting. And she's nominated for Best Actress. So do you want to play that? Well, I thought because uh, it's also easy for our technician, what about if we start off with Passion Fish? If that's, on, uh, in the happening. The, that's, uh, and Passion Fish is um, a wonderful movie uh, with Mary McDonnell and um, yeah, Mary McDonnell and Passion Fish. Uh -huh. who, for those of you who are not that familiar, although she, you should be, she was in, uh, the, she was uh, the adopted Sioux wife in Dances with uh, Wolves with um, um, uh, Kevin Costner, so uh, she mm. had uh, quite a part. And in this particular movie, Passion Fish, she portrays a soap opera star who returns to her home in Louisiana, uh, in uh, Louisiana Cajun country, after a Manhattan taxi smashes her leg. So let's see a little clip with uh, Mary McDonald in Passion Fish. When was the last time you were outside? They used to park us on the roof at the rehab hospital. You need sun. Raisins need sun. Alfalfa needs sun. Do you swim? Not willingly. Can you swim in this lake? Hmm. You mean with the snakes? Maybe I can find you a pool. Okay. See what you can do. Yeah. That's what I can do. Now push me back inside. Push yourself back. Don't pull that motivational crap on me. I want to go back in. I'll have lunch ready when you get there. Chantel, get back here. You get back here. I want to go back inside. Chantel! It's uphill! Those lights! Great clip from uh, Passion Fish, which uh, a lot of people probably have not heard that much about it because we hear so much about all the Oscar contenders like A Few Good Men and so on and so forth. But uh, like I said, tonight we have women in mind. In mind. Yes. But first of all, did you know that this year they, uh, the Academy has awarded the, the women uh, more or less? This year we have the, um, uh, the subject or the theme for the Academy Awards is women in film. Yeah. So. Uh, Oh, I think that is just wonderful because we have the women here, we have the women decade. Everything's working out for us finally. <laughs> Everything it's about is, time. is coming to grips, <laughs> yeah. right. Well, we've got to go so forward So what I that. did, I got a great clip yeah. that they put together of women in, uh, in the uh, film business, but women that have been Oscar contenders, Oscar nominees, so let's watch it. That's just the way it should be. Okay, great. So if we can... Uh,
ladies and gentlemen, in New York City, Miss Audrey Hepburn in Roman Holiday. Throughout the history of the movies, women have played a crucial role in the success of the industry. And this year, the Academy Awards is going to honor their achievements, which include such records as... Tatum O'Neill. The youngest performer to ever win an Oscar in a competitive category. Tatum O'Neill was just 10 years old. Miss Catherine Hepburn. The most Oscars won in the lead acting category. Catherine Hepburn with four Academy Awards. And this is just the beginning. In the history of the Academy Awards, 121 Oscars and 581 nominations have been garnered by women involved in the art of making movies. And for this year's telecast, producer Gil Cates decided it was time to recognize their contributions. The influence of women in movies is extraordinary. Uh, most people don't know this, but Platoon was edited by a woman. Uh, Amadeus was art directed by a woman. Uh, there have been dozens of women who've written films that have been nominated and have achieved Academy Awards. And it seemed to us that if we could celebrate it, if we could kind of show what women have done in film, maybe it would encourage people to use more women in film. And as such, we'd be doing a wonderful thing for the film industry as well. To help launch this theme, 67 of the 158 living Oscar-winning women gathered on one stage for an historic photograph. As the president of the Academy, Bob Ramey indicates these women have played a vital role in movie history. Absolutely, and it's becoming more and more important. I think at the beginning it was not as, uh, there weren't as many women working other than actresses, of course, but now in every craft you see women showing up as nominees and as Oscar winners. In addition to being a very valid theme, producer Gil Cates points out it is also very timely. This year has been a very important year for women in America in terms of what's happened politically, the number of senators that have been elected, the attention to women. I think it all uh, uh, really hit off in terms of the public consciousness from the Anita Hill trial. And this year it seemed to be a perfect year to celebrate women in general and specifically women in film. I think by celebrating it, we can encourage much more to happen for women in movies. So I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of what we're doing this year. To Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> to Tatum O'Neill. In fact, from what I read, uh, we had all the Catherines and all the Hepburns. <laughs> yes, uh, Tatum O'Neill was only nine years old when she oh. got uh, her Oscar. In fact, she was uh, That's not fair. the youngest Oscar <laughs> contender at that time ever to uh, <laughs> receive an Oscar. Oh, and uh, that's amazing. And that uh, what I that see age. here, Catherine Hepburn, she had. She looked great on that clip. She looked terrific. Beautiful. She looked really terrific. And she is yeah. just a, a terrific lady. And she Wonderful. received four Acad Academy Awards, if, if you can yes, even that imagine amazing. that. Four. And did you see that uh, particular item where they had all the women Oscar uh, nominees and contenders uh, on? I mean, uh, this year we really are. In uh, luck, as women, we really are very much there. And uh, I'm so glad I uh, got a hold of this clip because it, it uh, gave us a little bit more prestige. And we're really coming out there. And we have some uh, wonderful films. In fact, um, it says here, 158 living, winning Oscar women gathered on stage and uh, you saw the little Where clip just now you must have missed it yeah. <laughs> you were too involved in uh, mm -hmm. reading up on uh, whatever you did anyway mm -hmm. so uh, this was uh, really wonderful but let's go on with uh, what do you think um, did what uh, movie did you see and what impressed you quite a bit uh, about the actress in that did you see Indochine by chance uh, yes it was perfectly beautiful Catherine Deneuve is really uh, showed a lot of emotion in that, more than I've seen a show. Mm -hmm. in, from inside out, not not in action, but the uh, smoldering feeling she put across this time, mm -hmm. rather than walking through things and making a lot of movements. It was really coming through her. Yeah, well, see, uh, first of all, uh, the Carson uh, Hepper, uh, Cass Cassandra yeah, Deneuve, another Cassandra Deneuve. <laughs> uh, we 
not a lot of people over here are that familiar with her, except that she has made a, quite a few movies. In fact, she's made one with, uh, with um, Burt Reynolds. And, uh, she did? Yeah, she made oh. one here. And uh, she made a, a couple others. But she is <coughs> one of the actresses in France. Oh, yeah. She's almost like a goddess over there, and uh, I must say, I, I uh, really fell for her many years ago when I saw her first Chanel poster hanging in a drugstore. Oh, yeah? I, I made a double really? turn and said, who is that really? for the beauty of her? Yes. Oh. I mean, she certainly what has uh, grown yeah. into a different, yes, it oh, was right here in Laguna. And I'm good, <laughs> like <laughs> but uh, which is strange <laughs> too. But uh, maybe that's why I took a double take because yeah. it was such a different right. uh, look. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> I want to just tell you this uh, movie Indochine is uh, quite an exciting movie, and uh, it plays uh, um, a bit at the time when Indochina s uh, lost their uh, their land, uh, more or less when France and Indochina came to an uproar between who is going to rule the country. And um, this is quite interesting. In fact, I'd like to show you three clips in a row because oh. it's, it's a wonderful That's movie. A it's, uh, first of all, Cassin um, uh, Deneuve with, uh, with her, I think it starts with um, her adopted daughter, Camille. And uh, the second clip will be in the uproar between uh, uh, Indochina and France that's coming up, but it's more about how she reacts and her wonderful performance. And the third clip will be again between uh, Catherine Deneuve and her adopted daughter. Now, it's a very, very interesting thing, and watch closely. It's, it's quite, uh, quite something nice to see, and I know you've seen it, and it's exciting. Okay, well, let's watch it. We may have a little pause in between the clips, so please uh, don't go away because this is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Qu'est-ce que tu fais ici Je t'ai cherché. J'étais partout hier soir, cette nuit. Parle-moi, Jean-Baptiste. Parle-moi. Il y aura toujours des heures à moi. Des jours à moi. Des semaines à moi. À moi tout seul. Tu comprends ça Et pour toi, c'est pareil. Nous sommes deux personnes. J'ai besoin de toi. Tu fais partie de ma vie maintenant. J'ai besoin de ta voix, de ta douceur, de tes mains. Ils ont mis le feu, c'est pas un accident. On n'a pas réussi à maîtriser l'incendie, tout le caoutchouc a brûlé. Quand on peut on reprendre le travail Il faut vider les cuves, les nettoyer. Demain, je pense. Pourquoi pas maintenant Ils veulent pas rentrer dans l'usine, ils disent qu'on va leur tirer dessus. Mais qui ont Vous, mangez, pas de travailler Non, n'y allez pas. Je crois qu'il y a eu des coups de feu aussi. Vous croyez, vous croyez pas, il y a eu, il y a pas eu Décidez-vous
as Enfin, qu'est-ce que tu as C'est grave Maman, je ne peux pas épouser Tang. J'aimais notre homme. Il m'a sauvé la vie. Je l'aime. Aide-moi, maman, je t'en supplie. Ma petite fille. Ma petite Camille, bien sûr, je vais t'aider. Je te le promets. Qui est-ce Si ce n'est pas lui que j'épouse, je mourrai. Mais qui est-ce L'officier qui m'a sauvé. Il s'appelle Jean-Baptiste. Lui, il t'aime. Il m'aimera. J'en suis sûre. Comment peux-tu être sûre Je ne peux pas comprendre. Personne ne peut comprendre. Il est toujours là. Il me parle. Il me sourit. Il m'emporte. Il me prend dans ses bras. Ma vie est à lui. Yes, we're on for all you uh, Catherine Deneuve uh, lovers and worshippers. Mm. She really gives a wonderful, great performance. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go on to a great film, Susan Sarandon, and she is uh, nominated for Best Actress. Oh, yes. Best That's Actress right. in Lorenzo's Oil. That's right. Do you know that she really scored in uh, Thelma and Louise so that a lot of people are oh, going to vote for right. for this one that didn't get to vote for for that one, you know? Well, could be. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. Like I never, I didn't think about it. Yeah. But uh, she's really been a great, uh, great actress for some time and she's put some yeah. great performances in there. So uh, let's see uh, Susan Sarandon in uh, Lorenzo's Oil. And uh, a little bit more about the story. We don't have much time, but it's like a real life medical uh, drama which uh, chronicles about uh, their infant son who uh, suddenly breaks down with a disease which is sort of uh, nobody knows much about it. So here's the struggle that everyone goes through. And uh, this is a, uh, um, a clip with Susan Sarandon who is up for Best Actress. Right. Okay, and if we're ready. The window sills are made of chocolate, declared Hansel, breaking off a bit and eating it. And the window panes are made of clear candy, said Gretel. And at that moment, the Nancy door... Jo, do you think it could muster just a tad more enthusiasm? Lorenzo loves words. He loves the sound of language. Well, I'm paid to nurse, not read stories. And you've decided that his mind doesn't need as much nurturing as his body? Oh, what mind? I beg your pardon. Nothing. Get out. Look, Mrs. Adoni. Just get out. I've read up on this disease. I know what it's done to his brain. Lower your voice. Hear this from a subluter with a double-digit IQ. Face it, lady, the lights are out and there's Just nobody get home. Just get out. Go. Well, Merry Christmas. Get out. Happy holidays. And it's joyous. Near a great forest lived a poor woodcutter with his two children, Hansel and Gretel. Times were very hard, and a day came when there was no food except a little stale bread. But Hansel was like you, my darling. He was a clever lad who knew how to solve difficult problems. So, um, uh, Lorenzo.
Endless Oil, a great, great movie. So for those of you who uh, want to not only uh, see a great movie but learn a lot about uh, medicine, please go and see it. A lot of tension there. Uh, Terry, we don't have much time. Oh, so oh. give me one of your favorites for uh, this year's uh, contenders. Women. Women? Oh, okay. Uh, I, mean, I love Catherine Deneuve, let's face it, and I think Susan Sarandon was uh, excellent in most everything she's ever done, too. Mm -hmm. And also, Emma Thompson was fabulous in Howard's End. Yeah, I'm so sorry I couldn't bring a clip from Howard's oh, End, but yeah. she was terrific, you said? Yes. Um, what about isn't that funny? We've got two foreign actresses there out of five. Mary MacDonald, Michelle Pfeiffer, Susan Sarandon, yeah. American, and... Catherine Deneuve is French, Emma Thompson, I suppose, is English. Yeah. Should be. And another, another wonderful clip I brought along, and unfortunately we can't uh, get to it, is uh, for the, uh, the award uh, uh, John Plowright received in the Enchanted uh, April as uh, Mrs. Fisher. Now, John Plowright has been around in the theater world for some time. Right? Now, yes, you're married to about. Sir Lawrence. So That's what I meant earlier yeah. with my uh, oh. little... Is that uh, what you want to do now? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, we cannot play the clip anymore, but uh, there's another wonderful, wonderful actress, John Plowright, this year up for an Academy Award, and uh, she is... Um, she is in as the... Uh, as the best actress? Yes, as best actress. Also, uh, the other day, I went to see The uh, Crying Game. That was a great, oh, great God, movie. Oh, that was a fantastic right. movie. And I must say, the surprise was there. And, right. uh, it and wasn't overstated. Right. Also, now that movie is up for best uh, movie this year. Yeah, best picture. But surprisingly, when I checked my uh, sources today for best actresses, I found out that uh, for those who've seen it, the, the Irish um, uh, rebel, uh, Miranda Richardson, played by Miranda Richardson, she was is an interesting person. very, very interesting. She is also up for an award. In fact, she's up for an award, which I saw earlier in uh, the movie Damage, for those of you who have seen is it. Is that right? Yes, which is yeah. quite uh, some movie. I haven't seen it. And, it's a Louis uh, Malley movie, I <laughs> think. Yeah. Yeah. And it's uh, quite a movie, but she really is, uh, I mean, you can't miss her at this very moment. She's mm. in the uh, Enchanted April. She is in Crying Game, and she's in the Damage. So uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful actress. But Teddy, we are coming to an end. Oh, so, no. uh, do you tell me the favorite you have? Maybe you'll. Uh, uh, oh, I don't think that's fair. You yeah. don't have a favorite. No. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're not on the uh, voting committee, so <laughs> 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 because uh, some of them may lose out. Yeah. Well, I will not tell you my favorite because I've already given uh, my votes to a secret ballot, which <laughs> will come out right after the uh, awards. And uh, with that, unfortunately, I have to leave you tonight. And, uh, but before we go, I want to give you a little clip of uh, the Academy Awards. And uh, it will show some of the contenders again, some of the nominees of uh, this year's awards. So uh, let's go right to the clip if, the, uh, if Mark is ready. And uh, I'll be back shortly after. <laughs>
that, we are coming to an end. Yeah. Teddy, I want to thank you so much for being my guest today. I know that was a spur of a moment, but I certainly enjoyed having you here. It's because a nice uh, moment, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I figured you uh, know a lot about movies, and uh, maybe you can come back, oh, nice and uh, that, we'll yeah. talk some more, and talk a little yeah. bit about your career in the movies. Oh, well, okay? thank you so much okay. for having me. I really enjoyed it. Great. I think you're doing a great job. Okay, thank you. And thank you to all of you out there. I enjoyed you uh, very much having you here. And I hope you will watch the Oscars because right after the Oscars, I will have a guest, a wonderful guest, and we will tattletale a little bit and talk about the Oscars and uh, see what happens. And for all of you who are voting uh, for something or another, have a great party, put on your, put on uh, your, uh, um, Oscar outfits and uh, just play along with it. But again, it's late and I like to thank you for watching me and until I see you next time, my name is Elke and until then, good night. And thank you so thank much. You. It was terrific. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.